It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 220. In today's episode, Amazon to discount retailers using Amazon. I mean, Amazon Pay. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds a little redundant, but it makes sense. Amazon's pay payment system has been struggling to gain large-scale adoption. So the e-commerce giant has decided to pass along the discounts that they get on credit card fees along to retailers if they agree to implement the payment service. And the folks at PayPal surely can't be too happy about that. The move once again shows that Amazon will sacrifice near-term profits to gain market share. Typical fees for credit cards are about 2% of the transaction and debit fees are about 24 cents. But big retailers like Amazon and Walmart can negotiate lower fees just based on their enormous sales volume. That's what she said. Previously, merchants were charged 2.9% plus 30 cents each transaction. Those fees were divided up amongst Amazon, the credit card issuers, and the payment networks. As part of the test, it's willing to negotiate lower fees with merchants who agree to a long-term commitment to the service. Amazon Pay allows shoppers to log into their Amazon accounts from other websites, enabling them to complete the transaction using credit cards and delivery addresses already stored with Amazon, rather than having to enter them again. Most retailers would flinch at giving Amazon a cut of their transactions, but if it makes a customer's transaction easier, plus saves themselves a few bucks, it might be an option worth considering. Well, that's like giving PayPal money. That's giving everybody money. Yeah, yeah, you got everybody. Like, you know, welcome to credit card world. You know, it's like the the easier, the less friction you get, the better, friction. right? That's and I, you know what? It's everyone goes, oh, you can't give Amazon money, but you know what? You leave money on the table for something stupid as this, then it's on you. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's like a lot of sites now, like with uh, Apple Pay, Android Pay, right? Like, I get it, but it is easier to shop that way. Yeah. Um, you don't have to fill stuff out. It's already done. Like, so the same thing with PayPal, you log in with PayPal, they get all your info, boom, done. Like it, it's the frictionless stuff that, you know, Amazon is known myself, for the one button. Thing. Yep. No, I'm the same way. Like I find myself, like I buy, I buy a lot of design tools, like brushes and stuff to a lot of electronic stuff. And if I see the PayPal button, even if there's nothing in my account, I know it's linked to my bank account. I'm going to press that button quicker than I'm going to sit and fill out all the, you mm-hmm. know. So, yeah, swipe, fee, swipe fees are a big business. Um, these, these jackals get $90 billion a year for swiping cards um, like JP Morgan and Citigroup, uh, Visa, MasterCard, First Data, Stripe. They, you know, they get a, they get, everybody gets a cut. Um, it's really the best business to be in. <laughs> I mean, well, right. I mean, when you use a credit card, it doesn't just go through them. It goes through five different things. Right, and right. Everybody gets a little piece of it because right. it's got to go through a, you know, your merchant account. It's got to go through your bank. It's got to go through the technology that's providing it. Um, you know, right. everybody gets a piece of it. Right. The guy that Even owns if it's the cable point zero zero two still gets it. <laughs> right. The cable, the money, the guy that owns the cable where your data is being transmitted through. Everybody gets a cut. Hmm. Crazy. So, it's a little more complex than what you think it is. So Amazon is able to export the rates it's negotiated with banks and payment networks because like PayPal, it's a so-called payments facilitator. So it aggregates merchants, you know, and sometimes, the, you know, you hear merchants complain that they're getting raked over the coals, but what's the alternative? You want somebody to stand there and write a check? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, <laughs> as they say, you're gonna leave money on the table. This is part of business. Like, yeah. You know, if you, so you also look at it like, you know, how many times you purchased a whole bunch of stuff, downloads and stuff like that, apps from Apple, but didn't really get charged till you hit like 10 bucks. Yeah. Right. Cause that's right. what they do. They actually aggregate it away for you because it's cheaper for them to do that. So you have to, it's funny how, you know what I mean? Like you have to watch every piece of it. Yeah. And you had said earlier about the frictionless transaction. Um, I think people are starting to get used to the single button. Um, like yeah. you, PayPal was an example. Um, Amazon has the one click. Um, there's, a, there's a statement here. Visa CEO Al Kelly said, there's way too much clutter in the e-commerce check-in environment and it's just not good for users and not good for merchants. Well said. So the future is, you know, a single button. Um, now, whether your checkout has three buttons or four buttons, but if it's just a single button the, and, the, and the customer can choose which way they want to pay with the least amount of friction, um, you know, it's a winner all around. Might be not as pretty, you know, UI speaking, but 
you know, <laughs> the goal here is to get the money out of the customer's pocket. So the easiest way you can do that is, is <laughs> that's how you do it. That's right. Yeah. All right. Anything else? For today, no. All right, sir. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.